you might be sunny when it's chilly out there. Right. Ooh, just come down to check my motor home. It's a month since we've used it. I am ducking a bit because I lower up bed down uh, to let air flow over top of bed. So I'm going to check uh, power, batteries, hopefully engine will start. I'll take every bit of a walk. I haven't put heating on for a bit. And uh, we'll see in a bit. Let's just see where the engine starts now. Right, I'll just turn power on. Well, let's see how much uh, power we've got in the vehicle battery. Oh, that's not bad, we're still in green. So, uh, I'll take it for a bit of a short run and then uh, it should be alright till next time I go out. Let's just check leisure battery. Oh, that's holding its charge quite well as well. So, it's better than what I thought it would be since a month since we've used it. Right, let's see whether she'll start or not. Right, here we go. Let's see where she'll start. It's looking good at the moment. Yes, that was good. Leave it running a bit to warm up. Right then, so we'll put a bit of heating on now. She's got that running. So it's set to 20 degrees, set it at that, no I'll set it to 19, fuel, fuel only and hot water off. So that should start up on the heater in a bit. Right, so this is how I leave it. I think you've seen, if you haven't seen video before, I'll put a link of how I store the motorhome up in the uh, top corner and also in the long description. But the heating's uh, hot water heaters down here under the bed, which makes my bed nice and warm, sometimes too warm. For all the cupboards are left open from the last trip, I suppose we should have taken all those. Uh, books and that out so as you can see I dropped the bed down enough just to uh, let air flow over the top matter of fact I lift that up now right then uh, what I'll do now is I should talk covers and that I'll not show you that uh, I'll take a bit of a run and then I've got some other little bits and bobs I need to do but uh, I'm gonna try some different things uh, especially on the front end where the cushions sit against the outside wall uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'll do when I've come back from my run but I'll take a little run and uh, we'll catch you later on right taking a little run just half an hour just to uh, get wheels turning and uh, charge batteries up a little bit as batteries weren't that low uh, we go away, it says it's a month since we went away, we're at Borough Bridge, uh, beginning of January and we're due to go away in a fortnight's time, but it's only for four nights and we're going to Poolsbrook, which is near Staveley, Chesterfield, Derbyshire area. Never been before, so looking forward to that. It's got a country park next to it and that, so uh, that'll be four nights away we can uh, look forward to. Uh, the other thing I've tried over the last month is we normally put those uh, moisture traps in those with the crystals and I've tried it this time without putting it in and nothing seems to be sort of damp or anything so I'm hoping that we don't have to mess about with those I know they are designed for using in cold weather and that but I mean you feel it cold but it's not damp or anything mattress and that's all right so I think in the future we'll not put those in. Once you get heated on it soon warms up, it's, soon, it's really warm in here now. Oh, it's only been on 15 minutes and it's, I've set it to like you say 19 and it's uh, turning lovely and warm in here. Luckily we've got diesel heating so I don't have to use any gas. 
So what we'll do now is uh, I'll show you what uh, I need. I think I'm thinking of doing behind the cushions to hopefully let a bit of air flow through the back wall into the side wall and behind being between the cushions. Uh, so I'll get on with that now and we'll show you what to do. But what I'm thinking of doing, I've got to do a sketch and some get some measurements and then get some material to do it. So I'm not sure when I get when I'll get to do it, but. Uh, once I once I start doing it, I'll show you what I'm uh, I'm doing. Hopefully, it might it might be a good idea. It might not be. Right. So if you look at the seats on British built ones, there is like a a board or something that's got an air gap behind it. On this, on both sides, the cushions are sat right back against the wall. And if it's cold and you've got the heating on, you can actually feel they've put something in the back of these cushions to stiffen them up a bit, but you can feel the dampness on the wall. So, what I'm thinking of doing is just some small lats just to give a little bit of an airflow and uh, the gap for the airflow. And on the small lats, I've put some boarding, Brad. I'd also move those away as well as much as I can just to just to give us a bit of airflow behind those boards. I mean when I do storage I always pull the cushions away anyway. But it's when you're away and you uh, it's cold outside and uh, warm inside you do get that slight dampness and condensation there. So what I'm going to do today is just have a measure up i see what I need to do. Uh, right, so on this side I've just taken that uh, cushion off. And uh, this is how it come originally. Which, it's not a great design really because that cushion is shorter and sits on that lip. And this other cushion goes right down here. So what you've actually got is, if you look carefully there, you can see you've got a 10 mil step there. So when you put that cushion up there, it's at an angle. So I was trying to think of what to do here just to make it a bit better. So what I normally do is I have that cushion over there and then put the bigger one in here, which makes it a little bit better. What I'm thinking of doing when I do these modifications is swapping these cushions round. So that goes to there. And that goes to there. Which to me makes more sense. But what I'd need to do is to build some packing up under the back there to support the actual uh, cushions and it'll let me fetch fetch them out a bit and leave a bit of an air gap by putting a packing on the back to give some airflow between the wall and the cushions so I think that's the best way to go right this uh, idea of shoe on is a great idea for a passenger seat but the rest of it's a load of crap so as you can see you've got that lower, that's why one cushion's taller than other. As you can see one cushion's taller than other. So that design is absolute garbage where they've done it. It's had to be shorter because it sits on that step there. Which is your uh, electrical box and that down there. So what I'm thinking is if I make some kind of step support here for the cushions so the cushions hold up and it'll not be held on with a bit of velcro neither and a backboard with a thin slat just to hold it away from the uh, back wall and some uh, very thin plywood on it probably three or four slats across it just to give it some support 
and also it'll go down and uh, hold those uh, cushions away as well that's all I can think of doing and it'll stop that dampness on the wall right so now I'm on the uh, well the single seat on the back of the driver's side and other issue I've found is oh dear me this is a good idea it keeps it on but uh, it holds it against the back wall so in theory because he sits over the headrest so I can't uh, sort of push that cushion off anymore and other issue is this this plumbing cushion because they've got a bloody great holler here but you've got to have that to lift your, your seat to lift up and your seat actually sits back against here so you can't in theory put anything down there to support this cushion which then flops around all over the place when you're paying this amount of money you expect uh, the things you don't notice until you start living in it right so this is what I've sketched and roughly drawn up for what I need so I'm going to have some either slats that way or slats downwards that's going to go on the back wall some very thin hardboard and this is going to be the support to let some airflow go under cushion so it wants to be a height of 55 millimeters that'll give you more back back cushion support and 700 long which will support one of these back cushions on this side so that's the driver's side right and this is what I've uh, come up with for the uh, passenger side which is near enough for double seat so I'd make some kind of little step to sit in that area there so it'll support that smaller cushion higher up and it'll also support the uh, bigger cushion over to about here somewhere both sides and you, the kids have still got somewhere down there they can still put the uh, tablets and that when they're travelling somewhere and then you sort of backboard that's where your armrests will go and that'll be uh, your back for your cushions and of course that'll be sat on some very thin slats just to give you that airflow up the back right so I've put the cushions how I think they'll be better off going and as you can see if I get them both the same level I've got a support across there that hold the cushions up and we've just we've got a higher back as well so it's more comfy on your back right uh, I've just put the seats up on both sides uh, and I can manage to get enough room to get the backboard in down there which shouldn't affect anything on the passenger side I should be able to uh, do the same thing here but the slight problem is was that uh, if you remember we are talking about packing that up but that cushion takes all the space up so that's sort of wrecked that idea I had good job I put that together unless I make it so it's easily removable right so I hope you like this little video it's a bit bitty because I was trying to work things out as I went along uh, if you did like it and what I'll do is I'll uh, buy some material etc and when I make the bits and start fitting them I'll make another video of what I've done and hopefully it will help other people stop I don't know whether other people have this problem but like you say in the cold weather you do get a dampness behind these cushions because they're out they're against the back wall so uh, hopefully I can make it a bit better because we're going to keep this motor on for quite a number of years now so more improvements I can do to it to stop dampness inside it to me is the better I know you pay a lot of money for these motor homes but some are designed some are designs are good but other things they've not thought about right 
so I'm going to end this video here before I carry on rambling on and don't forget if you like this video don't forget give me them thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe it costs nothing it's free and it'll help support my channel uh, also if you liked it click that little thumbs up button as I said subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and leave a comment just let me know what you think of this video and whether you think it's a good idea I'm doing I've got some other ideas that I'm gonna have a look around at in the future in the future this year some point but might as well just do one thing at a time right we'll call it as this video thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye for now bye